Got the legend Ron T. Sawyer here. That's me. <laughs> We're out at the Rhodes Ranch. So that's South or Mississippi Hickory, I believe I heard. I think it's Mississippi, yep. I think that's what I saw in the video. Yep. That uh, redneck renegade made. Yep. And actually the wood come from uh, uh, Bones Yard. The wood came from Bones Yard. Yep. And redneck renegade turned them. Yeah, these... That's the striker, and I got the extra one, and this here, this is, if I can get it open. Wow. It's almost like a Henry rifle with the he, octagon he, barrel. Yeah, That's yep. beautiful. Yep. Yeah, he does an awesome job at it. <laughs> and then the, this part of it came from, uh... California. From uh, Nathan 4071. Nathan 4071. Yep. yep. Number of the best feral rods you'll ever get. Wow. So he's going to be excited about that. Oh, yeah. Yep. 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 He'll like those, I'm sure. So then I've got a little gift for Ron T from my buddy at work. We call him the Rectinator. Yep. And... We'll show you that. So this bag is made out of uh, pig skin, and he died, or he dyed it, and all that. And then on the inside there, it's got your other little setup. Oh yeah, one of those forever matches. So he wants to see if that'll take off. Oh, it will. I'm sure. It will. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. Oh, he made that too? Yep. Sweet. Yeah, he made both of those. Yep. Oh, yeah, it'll take off. And this was car covered in lard and I can't remember what. It was 50-50. Lard and something else to help keep it waterproof. Oh, yeah. Probably like beeswax. Yeah, or something. I can't remember the other. This was when I was in North Carolina. I found that little sliver there. Yep. Yep. Yep, that's fat wood. Yeah. That Josh is out finding fat wood. <laughs> Autumn's working. Yeah. And he's just finding fat wood. <laughs> Sprays on the end. Usually you can start them with your ferro rod. Yeah, that's what he's thinking. He yep. thinks we can start it with that. Yep. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem at all. If you want to try one. <laughs> yeah, that's my special ferro rod. That's a one inch. That thing is massive. They call it the beast. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yep, yep. So Ron T's gonna see if he can start. Can get this going. Um, I can't remember the name. What you call these? The forever match. A lot of them call them forever matches. I've seen a couple different names. Yep. Sorry if I do another. Yeah, yeah. That's why I brought it out. Okay. There we go. It's going. Yep. It's going. <laughs> Good job. Nice job. Um, you gotta try my other one there. Which one? The other one there. The other match? Yeah, the other, yep. That's the one I uh got ready. So he, he gave me that one yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this strike this rod. <laughs> So these are caked with Vaseline. Yep. Because it's waterproof and flammable. If you put the gasoline on it, it would really be flammable then. It's gonna go. There we go. There it goes. There it goes. Yep. Yeah, this one this one I don't think has been burnt yet. So once once it gets going a couple times, she'll she'll take off pretty good. And that's one thing I learned too, is to keep the striker flat on that rod. Yep. So you're not creating the speed bumps. Yeah. Yep. It's going. It's going. Yep. There it goes. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yep. It's going pretty good. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, these things. Will... So at the end of that char off with your knife and kind of have a fresh start too, yep. if you want. Yep. A lot, a lot of them will leave it on there. Them. Yeah. The char gets going a lot quicker. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so on this rod here, what's the glow in the dark made out of? I don't know. Jerry's outdoor in wood shop made it. Okay. But he put he puts his ferro rods in, and then it's a glow in the dark powder that he puts on there. And oh, that's just cool. Yep. <laughs> and that thing, it's it really glows. Wow, it looks like it. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's my beast. You can beat people with that thing. <laughs> so this is what we're giving to the rectinator. He's getting an extra ferro or a ferro rod, and he's going to put, I believe, like an antler handle on that, mm -hmm. and then the other set. So anyways, we just had a visit from Ron T. Sawyer. I uh, was showing him this little piece of fatwood I found up in the mountains in North Carolina on our trip. So I gotta have a little fire with this as well. Um, shave off a little bit of this. We will be putting out more videos on the rest of our trip. I just thought I'd break this up with a uh, winter it's a Wednesday winter fatwood video so definitely has that smell pretty cool that's my first piece finding out in the uh, woods where I was actually kind of looking for it so I let this stuff I found this piece and it was a uh, like in a stump in uh, North Carolina walking up a trail. So I broke it off and then I uh, just set it on the uh, dash sitting in the sun. Well, what sun we did have, but anyways, it just sat up on the dash of the car all the way home. So um, hopefully it dried it out just enough. We'll try to start this since Ron T got to have a fire. I want to have a fire too. Um, that's the store bought stuff. And I think this is the uh, what the rectinator made me. I will start this and then we'll see if. How oh, well that fat wood takes off. Okay. So that's getting going there. And there's the uh, fat wood I just shaved off of that piece from from uh, North Carolina. Pretty cool find this week. So anyways, thought uh, we'd show you this. Um, so just did a uh, little trade with Ron T. Sawyer. He didn't know he was getting what he was getting today. And then the uh, my buddy, the Rectinator, doesn't know. He knew he's getting the uh, ferro rod um, to make to put a uh, antler horn on but he didn't know he was going to get the striker set so i think he's going to be uh, pretty excited about it no way that set's for you that really? was made, that was made on the video no way that's octagon wow i got something for you so that video that was did he like that bag oh he liked it a lot did he yeah So once he makes the uh, the rod with the antler handle, um, we'll try to show that in a video um, as soon as we can. So we want to thank you, thank you for watching. Um, we just shipped out the uh, pecans today. Um, it, won, uh, it was won uh, by a guy out in uh, Washington State. So be watching probably around the end of January, early February 2021. We will be having another giveaway Um so it's some uh, items that we found uh, while we were on our trip in the uh, Carolinas. So yeah, this is pretty cool. It's always fun to play with some fire. So 
Anyways, thanks a lot for watching.